I'm going to be as quick with this transfer news as I can be because I think this story is going to change and it's going to change really, really quickly. It's come from Fabrizio Romano and in fact it's come from absolutely everybody. I'm not sure how this works. Does one in the know go and then all the others follow? So um, everybody's reporting it and I don't know if, if they're reporting it because they've all verified it or because they've all seen Fabrizio Romano report it. But I'll tell you what it is as of at the moment. I'll, re I'll read his tweet, Romano's tweet. It says, West Ham now open initial talks to sign Mohamed Kudus, priority target in case Lucas Paqueta leaves to join Manchester City. Positive talks on the player's side, which I guess is good to hear. Uh, Kudus is open to the move. He's still waiting on an approach. Ajax uh, will deal, is dependent, Ajax deal is dependent on Paqueta. Uh, now, that is conflicting with Jacob Steinberg's report, funny enough, which says that we might be looking at this guy irrespective of whether we sell Lucas Paqueta. So I think reading between the lines, if we sold Lucas Paqueta, then we would still get someone else in. This is this this, this guy was being highlighted before we knew of Man City's interest in Paqueta. Now I'm going to square with you on this one. I don't know too much about this guy, but I had heard of him as of a couple of days ago, and there's a couple of reasons for this. Look, first he's from Ajax, which is where we've signed. Edson Alvarez from. Uh, the second reason is I thought a couple of days ago there might be another little bit of glimmer of hope with us uh, possibly getting Emil Smith Rowe. Now, um, we were linked with Smith Rowe earlier on in the window. We wanted him as part of an exchange deal for Declan Rice. Uh, Arsenal said no. However, it looks like, it might, I'd say a couple of days ago, it was actually a couple of weeks ago, it looked as if Smith Rowe may become available again. And the reason he may have become available. He's not available anymore. I think he's going to. He might be going to to one of the Red Bull clubs or something like that. But Arsenal, we're going to go and buy this guy. This guy, Mohamed Kudus. So he's a Ghanaian player, and that's why I'd heard of him as of a couple of days ago. Also, I heard about him yesterday, which is ironic because he was meant to be signing for Brighton yesterday. So I just come clean with you. By the time this video is uploaded, he could have signed for Brighton. He could have signed uh, for Arsenal. I don't know how much truth there is in those rumours. Didn't look like Arsenal needed uh, another player, really, did it? Uh, looking at him play the other day. But anyway, uh, so this, this kid is a very, very good player. I say kid, he's 23 years of age. He looks to be very good. Now, I actually played one game this season. It was a win, and he scored in that game. Just seen the goal, watched it 10 minutes ago. Looked like a really, really good goal. The thing I'd probably say about this guy is he's not a direct replacement for Lucas Paqueta, although he can play. In midfield, he absolutely can. He's not got Paqueta's range of passing. He hasn't. What he does do particularly well is he does travel with a ball really quickly, really well. He's an exceptional dribbler. If you watched my video earlier on, which did over on the main channel, where I spoke about James Ward Prowse taking free kicks, we're going to need somebody to win the free kicks. This would be the guy to win the free kicks. He moves his feet quicker than most, and he certainly moves his feet quicker than any defender that's going to be looking to tackle him. He looks really, really good. Very quick, which is obviously something that uh, personally I find uh, particularly appealing, because I think it's something we're really lacking at West Ham. And he appears to be, whilst he's not a giant, he does appear to be a pretty strong, good uh, low centre of gravity as well. When I first saw him play, I thought, oh, you know, it looked like the sort of player that David Moyes would try and convert into a striker. Scratch below the surface a little bit more, and it does appear that he has played as a forward for uh, Ajax as well, even though he's not their, their number nine, he's not their main striker. However, he can play out on the wing, he can play centrally, and he's a bit of a utility player, as I say, he could be adapted uh, to play up front. So there's no surprise, uh, <laughs> it would be no surprise if David Moyes got him in and turned him into our forward. There's also the suspicion or the suggestion that maybe uh, Jared Bowen might be someone who might play as a forward. Firstly, Bowen's finishing is, is excellent, as we saw uh, just a couple of days ago, but also David Moyes alluded to it. David Moyes has said that he might consider playing Bowen up front. He feels like he's, like he's developing in that direction. I, I do wonder if Bowen might appreciate that. I mean, it's got to be it's got to be a bit, a little bit wary and constantly getting back and helping you right back out, particularly when you're attacking. Player. He does it, and, he, and I think, I guess he does it without complaint, but uh, there's certainly, I don't think, the best use of his abilities or his capabilities. 
Uh, I, I don't know what Ajax's uh, thoughts are on this, really. I mean, he would basically have seen their uh, sort of midfield decimated by West Ham, basically. And, and obviously, already today, West Ham have announced the signing of James Ward-Prowse, which is really good. Um, as I mentioned in the video earlier, very, very happy about that indeed. But I, I was bemoaning, uh, I think, the lack of creativity, particularly if we lose Lu Lucas Paqueta. And particularly, you know, is, is a concern about pace, you know, because if you have Thomas Suchek and if you have James Ward-Prowse and you have Edson Alvarez in central midfield, it's slow. It's a slow midfield, it has to be said. Uh, this this definitely would add something to it. I'm not going to get overly excited now, but also it would be wrong of me not to do the video because it is all over the news and everyone else will be reporting it. Sky Sports News are reporting it. I Personally, I find it hard to imagine. Maybe I'm just a little bit glum and a little bit downbeat in terms of West Ham transfers at the moment, it's hard to think that we could beat Arsenal or Brighton to a signing. That being said, uh, maybe Arsenal are not in for the player anyway. Maybe that was just transfer talk. I mean, for Fabrizio Romano is saying positive talks on the player side. Um, Kudos is open. Uh, Kudos, Kudos, uh, Kudos is open to the move, which I guess is, is a good thing. As I keep mentioning, you know, if wanting to come to West Ham uh, becomes very, very attractive. Actually, certainly to me, when I hear so many players don't either don't want to come to West Ham or want to leave West Ham. So I think this is a really good thing. Uh, in terms of the Brighton, well, well, I, I don't know. I guess it's easy to, to look on it from, you know, with your West Ham spectacles, on which I am, which, you know, Brighton look to be doing everything right and, and West Ham seem to be looking to do everything wrong in recent times. But that being said, maybe from the outside looking in, uh, Kudos might be looking at West Ham and think, well, actually, they've they won a trophy last year. They're in Europe again for the third year running. And my mate's just joined. Uh, Edson Alvarez has just joined as well. So maybe, just maybe, it's things like that are enough to swing the balance. It's very easy to think that a lot of these players are have an encyclopedic knowledge of the Premier League and they're as frustrated as West Ham and we are. They're, they're probably not. They're probably looking at it with fresh eyes from the outside and thinking, oh, OK, something can be done here. As I say, I'm not going to get too excited uh, about this deal because I'm not entirely sure it will happen. I didn't even anticipate doing this video today, but it is, we're getting, well, we're going to be getting into the last couple of weeks of the transfer window um, pretty soon, aren't we? So if West Ham are going to bring in the players and we're going to spend this, I was going to say Declan Rice money, Declan Rice money, Skamaka money, Vlasic money, could soon be topped up with Paqueta money as well. We're going to need to start bidding for these players and it just means that I guess these transfer rumours are going to come in thick and fast really, aren't they? Uh, I'd, I'd love to think we can sign a player like this. Someone like this would make me immediately hopeful. I'd look at Alvarez, I'd look at Ward-Prowse, I'd look at this guy coming in and also I, I think it sort of breaks up the... Um, it breaks up the continuity in terms of, you know, bringing in sort of older players, uh, Premier League players, established players, that, that sort of thing. I, I think you, if you see in Edson Alvarez and this guy come in, you sort of don't mind then Maguire and Ward Prowse coming in. You think actually that, that starts to make quite a nice blend rather than, you know, packing the team full of... You know, sort of players in their late twenties and early thirties with Premier League experience. Uh, anyway, I'm I'm going to leave it there because I think there's no point talking about it anymore. Uh, so just Fabrizio Romano's running with it. He's basically said West Ham um, are in initial talks to sign Mohamed Kudos, uh, who's basically uh, well, he's a very very good Ajax player. Go and watch their game. Um, from, I think it was yesterday actually their game that they played. He played very well in it. Uh, scored a great goal. He scored lots of goals. So the other thing I'd say, having seen him. He's left-footed, but he, he's very, very good with his right foot as well. Not that frequent that you see players who are who are two-footed, and he does appear to be that. Anyway, I'll catch up with you later.